Today we are going to see an automatic motorized door based on timer. So let's get started. For this we need triple five timer IC. It's pin number four and eight. Both are connected to plus VCC plus 6 volt. Pin number 1 is connected to ground. Pin number 5 is connected to a 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor and then it is connected to ground. Pin number 6 and 7 both are connected together. One the resistor is connected with pin number 6 and 7 and then another pin of the resistor is connected to plus 6 volt. The value of the resistor is 56 kilo ohms. Then again, with pin number 7, we have to connect one capacitor and negative pin of the capacitor is connected to ground. Its value is 100 microfarad. Here is our pin number 2. With pin number 2, we have to connect one push to one switch. Another pin of the switch is connected to ground. With the pin number 2, we have to connect one resistor. Another pin of the resistor is connected to plus 6 volt. The value of the resistor is 10 kilo ohms. Now come to pin number 3, which is IC triple 5. And this IC is 7404. Pin number 3 of triple 5 timer IC is connected to pin number 1 of 7404. Pin number 14 is connected to plus 6 volt. Then pin number 7 is connected to ground. Here is its pin number 2. Now we need another IC. Pin number 2 of 7404 is connected to pin number 2 of this IC. It is L293D. Pin number 1 of 7404 is connected to pin number 7 of L293D. It's pin number 1, 8 and 16. These three are connected together and then these are connected to plus 6 volt. It's pin number 4, 5, 12 and 13. These four pins are connected together and then these are connected to the ground. Now we need the door model. In the last video we have discussed on this and we have constructed our door. According to the last video it has three pins open pin, close pin and ground. Ground pin is connected to the ground. Open pin of the door is connected to pin number 6 and close pin of the door is connected to pin number 3 of L293D. So this is all about the circuit. Now let's see its practical circuit. Here is our triple five timer IC. It's pin number eight and pin number four. These two are connected to plus VCC. Pin number one is connected to the ground. Pin number two is connected to plus VCC through 10 kilo ohms resistor. Now connect pin number six and seven. Pin number six and seven. These two are connected to plus VCC through 56 kilo ohms resistor. Pin number 5 is connected to the ground through 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor. Here is 100 microfarad capacitor. And this one is connected to the pin number 6 and 7 and negative pin of the capacitor is connected to the ground. Push to one switch. Pin number 2 is connected to one pin of the switch. Another pin of the switch is connected to the ground. Now here is our IC 7404. Its pin number 14 is connected to the plus VCC. Pin number 7 is connected to the ground. Pin number 3 of triple 5 timer IC is connected to pin number 1 of 7404. Here is the IC L293D. Pin number 1, pin number 8 and pin number 16. These three pins are connected to the plus VCC. 
and pin number 4, 5, 12 and 13 these four pins are connected to the ground. Pin number 1 of 7404 is connected to pin number 7 of L293D and pin number 2 of 7404 is connected to pin number 2 of L293D. Now connect both the positive rail and the negative rail. Now we have to connect our door. This is our door and as we have seen in the last video that this black pin of the door is ground, the green pin is closed pin and the yellow one is the open pin. According to the circuit, the yellow pin that is the open pin should be connected to pin number 6. The closed pin it is connected to pin number 3 of L293D and the black one it is ground and it is connected to ground rail. Now connect the power supply. Here is our positive and here is our negative. Now press the switch. It is opened. And after some time it automatically closed. Again I am pressing it. It is closed. Now you can control the open and close timer by doing some simple calculation. And we have to do another thing. Now I will put the switch in this place so that we can control the door from the front side of the door. Now we have to connect this switch with the parallel of this. It is connected. Now anyone wants to go from inside to outside then that person will press this switch and anyone who wants to come from outside to inside then that person will press this switch. It is working. Now I am pressing this switch. It is working. Now let's see from the front side. So our door is working. Now let's see the timer calculation. To change the open timer, then you have to change this resistor and this capacitor. Okay, these two is controlling the open timer. This triple five IC is connected in the monostable mode. And I have already discussed about monostable mode in other video, link in the description below. Now see this. Timer means time t equal to 1.1 multiplied by this resistor is known as R and this capacitor is known as C. Now 1.1 multiplied by R multiplied by C. In my case I have connected R 56 kilo ohms 56 kilo ohms multiplied by 100 microfarad 100 microfarad Six point one six seconds. Now with these two values our door keeps open for 6.16 seconds. It is approximate value because these resistors and capacitors having some tolerance so we will not get ex exactly 6.16 seconds. It is more than 6.16 or less than 6.16. Now if you want a particular time then you have to change a value 
resistor or the capacitor. Now changing the resistor value is easier than changing the capacitor value because we can change our resistor value by potentiometer. So we'll find the value of resistor keeping the capacitor value as constant means 100 microfarad. Now see this here we have R equal to T by 1.1 multiplied by C. For example, I want to open the door for 11 second. Now I have to put 11 1.1. I'm keeping the capacitor value is as 100 microfarad. So it is 100 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 means it is multiplied by 10 to the power 6. Now if I change the value to 100 kilo ohms, then the door will keep open for 11 seconds. Now we have to change this resistor as it is connected to pin number 6 and 7. Now see the time. Okay. 1, 2, 3. It is more than 11 second but we can say it is approximately 11 second because because I'm not able to pressing it exactly together and as I told you before our resistor and capacitor having some tolerance so it is not exact 100 kilo ohms and the 100 microfarad so guys this is all for today I hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.